A lot of you have been wondering about the BMW and what's going on and what will happen. Is it junk? Is it good? Well, I just spoke with my insurance agent. My truck insurance and my car insurance end at the same date. I only want to insure my truck because I'm driving that. I'm actually driving that down the road where the BMW just continues to sit here. Why? Because the weather has been total garbage the last six months. And let's face it, I had fun snowmobiling. So I told my agent that I only wanted to insure my truck since the car's not moving. New York State is complicated. What that means is, is I can't have a registered vehicle uninsured. So I have to take my plates back so that the BMW can be illegally off the road. BS, but that's what's gonna happen, I guess. So I gotta turn these suckers in. <laughs> I have two vehicles, okay. and um, I only wanted to insure the one. Okay, but, so but the, take one off the road? Yes, but but it's not gonna like leave the driveway or anything. Do I still have to hand these in? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And are you gonna be putting it back on the road sometime? Yes. Okay, okay so you want me to save the time so you can put it back on it no fee? Yes. No fees is, is good. Yes. Very, okay. very good. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Uh, you, take care. You, you too. Now when you have to go to this DMV, they have like a metal detector and then they always have police officers too. I had my phone, my camera, license plates. I, I put everything in the bin except for my watch and I went through it beeped, I forgot. I, at that point I didn't know that I had my watch on. So then the guy starts wanting me and then I'm like, oh, I have a watch on. So then I take the watch off. He makes me go through the metal detector again. <laughs> he's, he's making me lift up my shirt and then my undershirt, unzipping my jacket. Good time. I, I think I made the cop nervous. Just another day with 3D machines. EGR signal, out of range, glow plug module. Deal so what, all this stuff wild. is like screwed up in my truck? Power enrich, yeah. Is that why it runs like crap? No, it doesn't sound like it runs like crap. Does it run like crap? It doesn't run like crap until I give it the juice. Once I give it the juice, then she's uh... Falls on its face? That'd well, not, not completely, but it doesn't have that rumble like it used to. All right, so I'm at Chris's. We're gonna check out my radio, try to maybe unlock it. I don't think he's ever done this. Have you, Chris? Nope. But we're gonna try. Chris and I tried to fix my radio problem. We were not successful, so now I'm doing something that I never thought I would do. I'm actually gonna go to the dealership. There are a couple of you with different names for the dealership, but uh, hopefully they aren't what you say they are. Wish me luck. Hi, how you doing? Good. Hey, I have a, an appointment to get my radio uh, reinstalled. Oh, okay. First thing Dalton, right? Correct. They directed me to the waiting room, but uh, but I think I'll have more fun out here. So this is actually basically my truck, just 10 years newer. It's blue, it's four-wheel drive, it's four-door. So I concluded my window shopping, I went back inside, went back into the waiting room. But anyways, let me just show you, I I'm excited about this. Now YouTube can harass me with copyright claims. Now I don't go to the dealership very often because, well first of all I have this truck and it does everything that I need it to do. It actually does more than I need it to do. It's got way more horsepower than I need most of the time. But for the instances that I do need horsepower, this vehicle is perfect. I'm not a picky person at all. Phrase that. I'm not picky when it comes to vehicles. Honestly, if this thing never broke down and was a rusty, crusty mess and I never had to replace parts, I'd be completely okay with it. If all the paint fell off, I mean the paint's falling off pretty pretty good right now, but if this thing looked like total junk, I would still rock it because it does everything that I need it to do. Two of the things that I'm most picky about that come to come to the top of my head. Food has to be good, and I was really picky when it came to women. Luckily I found a good one, we've been dating for five years and one day today. I think other than that, I'm not that picky. Well, what about you? What are you most picky about? If you could pick one thing. I went back to Chris's shop, Chris wasn't there, he was actually going to the scrapyard, I think he had a whole bunch of like rotors or something. I'm going to head up to Danny's, get his other engine that we pulled out, load it in the back of the D-Max, and while I'm headed up to Danny's, let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, Ian's gonna help me hold this thing. So you're gonna back me up and then we'll go from there? Yeah. And then I'll do some blocking or something maybe to hold yeah, that thing up. Up. I've never strapped on an engine. If anybody has any tips or tricks for next time, let us know. But this time has already happened. And hopefully nothing bad has happened or will happen. I'm very pumped about this. Okay, you gotta come in my truck. Why? Cuz, check this out. What, you got a radio? I got a radio. I'm happy about that. Okay. 
That was so rusty that it looked like it was one part. It is two parts. Weather is a very, very magical thing, and it can deceive you. A hammer can fix anything, especially up on the farm, right? Right. <laughs> hey, you want to... What? What? What, what, what do we got there? Food. You want to stop and get some ice caps? They keep me up at night. <laughs> they, they keep me up too. That's the thing, when you don't drink a lot of caffeine or you don't drink a lot of energy drinks, when you do take them, you stay up like all night. At least after, you know, if you have them after three o'clock or so, four yeah, o'clock. So. What, what about you? Can you drink an energy drink or like a caffeinated drink at maybe five o'clock or after three o'clock and be able to like, <laughs> this the guy? What is this guy doing? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> We had we had some traffic issues. Will, can you go to sleep after you after like three o'clock? Ian and I can't. No, no way. I have it. Staying up, staying in bed with our eyes open all night. <laughs> you got about ten feet. I knew you were gonna do that, you cheater. You're good. You're good. You're good. Well, I know I don't have bugs in here. The carbon monoxide could kill you. It's Looks like you've been mud bogging with this thing, Ian. Jeez. Yeah, that's why we're getting the, the duels. The duels, yeah. The hop out. With Look it. at how muddy that is. You have been just it ripping was, it. It was up to there. Oh my goodness. I didn't make it out. So. <laughs> well, well, that's what counts. So, as you heard from Ian, we're gonna put duels on this thing. Like, he's gonna have four tires in the back end. That's, that's pretty neat. But first, before we can do that, we have to take these weights off. And we cleaned up the garage. It's, it's looking clean. Well, now we can get it muddy again. Oh, you sucker. I, I just swept that. So the reason why he wants to put uh, four wheels on the back is so it floats better, kind of like a snowmobile. It's really wet out there. Is that what you're most concerned about, is the wetness? Yeah. You know, we should have probably did a test. A test. You know what? We should do a test. We should take the weights off, do a test, and then put what, the tire. stuck? <laughs> no, do a test. <laughs> and then, and then put the other two tires on and then see how much better it does. That way we have a before and after. Or does that sound like a terrible idea? I don't want to get stuck. We got a Volkswagen, dude. We're not going to get stuck. And then we got this thing. Does that thing still run? Yeah, it runs. I don't think we're going to get stuck then. I mean, just for scientific Without the purposes. Weight, yeah. I suppose we need a little gas, but we got to take the snowball off. Okay. This thing's got hydraulics? Yeah, it's got hydraulics. This thing's bee's knees. Cast me out. This is a machine that you could be proud of. Supposed to be. Well, it will, it'll be more respectable once we get off, you know, the other rear tires on. Holy, that one weighs more. This is gonna be the most exciting part. And thinks he's gonna get stuck. I, I don't personally know, but if he gets stuck, it's, it's fun. If he doesn't, it's fun. Just give him a rep, tater chip. What does he mean that it's gonna get stuck? And I think I speak for the whole crew when I say that test sucked. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even get stuck. I that was the whole plan. I didn't want to get stuck. Every time we go up to Ian's shop, we have to come to the part store. Every time, Ian. Every, Every time. time. Doesn't matter what you're doing, what you're working on, you gotta go to the part store. <laughs> Man, this thing looks like a monster on camera. Yeah? Yeah. Ian's gotta climb something cool with it. I ain't gonna climb nothing cool with it. Then you gotta let me climb something You're cool with it. Climb I'm climbing something cool to, with this thing. <laughs> this was Ian's idea. Yeah, look at that. We put dualies on his mower, that's pretty cool. He's gonna try the mud. Oh boy. Like a tank. Or spotted the lawn for you, so I think you should have hit her with more speed. More, I didn't want to break nothing. You want to let the skinny guy up there? I don't want to get covered in mud. Like this thing throws mud. 
my vlogs are a little insane, exotic, crazy, whatever you want to call it. Because we start out doing one thing and then we, it leads us to something totally different. Like we got a tractor stuck. We started out at a dealership. Hey, I'm having fun. I know you're having fun. What's the big deal? Let's keep having fun. If we were not stuck right now, I would have less fun. Yeah. I am having much more fun now that we're stuck. Unstuck. It went through this really, really well. Things are tank. He's better at getting it stuck than I am. I've been eating mud. Sorry. Th this would qualify as the Gator's ugly stepsister. Ugly stepsister. Cute, cute stepsister. So. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, it is made by the same thing and the same color. And it's got uh, six wheels. The Gator's only got five wheels. We made a dually, and within one minute, we had it stuck. You had it stuck. I had it stuck.